Hello guys, so welcome in the next episode of our habits and how to stop uh, procrastinate or how to help procrastination course. In this episode, we'll look at the neurology uh, point of view of the habits of the mechanics and what's what's going on in the, in the brain and overall. So let's get started. Uh, well, our brains are very complex organs. As we know, there are only 2% of our body weight. They, they just consist of it, but, but they consume 20% of energy. Not this is the organ that is consuming the most energy of, of our entire body. And for this amount of complexity, you need certainly some kind of loop, some annotation, some simplification, automatization, we can put it. A sort of a shortcuts to the actions. Usually, we lose interest. What kind of a complex actions? Uh, what what complex are the actions we are currently uh, undertaking? For this uh, reason, we believe that it's good to teach uh, people how to code. Uh, not not the, not because that everybody's gotta become a, a, a developer, but uh, just to build it that awareness that. Uh, you know that we we forget uh, how it is when when we do certain action but uh, in the in the complexity of it it's uh it's uh you know um it's different di different when you see how you how you how you, how you would tell to a robot uh what what kind of a complex issue it is just let's take uh, lighting a cigarette for instance you know, this is a visual code, uh, by the way, and not gonna program or anything, but let's just assume what kind of, uh, you know, uh, complex action it is uh, to, to light a cigarette. You know, you have to grab a, well, we can we can write it like, like even a function, because that's what it is. It's actually in some uh, programming languages you define functions like that, but you know, just write it. Grab a, 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 a grab a. Ne never mind any any syntax, but uh, it's what it is. It's function. Grab a cigarette. Open a box. You know. Um, then what what else can be there? Uh, grab a cigarette. Um, cigarette. Um, with your thumb thumb and index finger and or kind of you know and then take it out uh, that can be another function actually I forgot to write the fun functions over here but never mind that so let me just skip this then you got function put it in your mouth function you know, light the, uh, light the um, um, function lighter can be, you know, and then, um, uh, then, you know, function lighter and function light a cigarette, right? Light a cigarette. That that is that is actually some the action that is you know taking taking a fire very close to your close to your eye you know that most of the animals would run away but at the same time if it becomes a habit then uh, then you are just not afraid of it and this all you can annotate of uh, in a single function like uh, like uh, you know lighting a cigarette that's what it is or if you cigarette and if you if you will or you can or we can basically put it like that that lighting a cigarette function and and this consists of this consists of you know these kind of things and and we don't know it we just don't don't realize this thing because this this here over here just happens on the autopilot it's the same thing with driving same thing with with a lot of things that that had been iterated enough that we 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 just accustom so much that we are not longer aware of them that we are we are doing them okay so habits are formed through the repetition 
and there's always some kind of a trigger uh, that comes with habits that uh, after a while sparks an action and uh, there must be some kind of a reply from the reward system that we have entangled deeply and rooted within our our brains and this kind of reward response largely determines uh, what 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 is the learning curve of of uh, of that habit so there are different parts of the brain involved uh, when it comes to running these loops that we were just plotted um, the part that is automizing all the habit formation is called striatum and this is a habit creating part of the brain that is highly connected to the dopamine system the neurotransmitter that is created here in the in the midbrain there has to be a trigger the interest the, the action itself and response of the brain chemicals to start the process of habits creation and uh, dopamine plays a crucial role in this it's a neurotransmitter of positive feeling uh, it's it's the biggest motivator in, in there out there you know just like the best motivational video on the internet but because it will actually make you want to do stuff it's it's the it's the neurotransmitter that is um, occurring nowadays in different Facebook or different software notifications when it comes to making money you know having sex taking drugs it's 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 just all can be like extrapolated by expectations of, of expectations of good feeling that our brain can create for us for for all of that dopamine is responsible you know, for that uh, extent determines to a large extent what what gets imprinted what behavior gets imprinted and what not there are different regions involved in uh, in it uh, what basically what where is our rational mind is coming is the prefrontal cortex and uh, uh, this 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 part basically com communicates with striatum and with the with the mint brain where from where the the do dopamine comes from and there are other parts like thalamus and in frolimbic cortex uh, there are parts of the brain that are associated mostly in the studies with long-term memories and imprinting of emotions for instance you know something that kind of a gut feeling that is imprinted in your psyche for a, maybe even a lifetime this is stuff that we develop early as kids, or I don't know, even from mom and dad that, that we used to f further build upon. That's uh, a lot of psychologists uh, concluded that, uh, that the first, uh, first uh, the, the childhood, the environment that we get, is th that's the crucial importance. So the habits are iterations of the process. The, the prefrontal cortex communicates with striatum and then the, the communication comes to the midbrain where dopamine is learning and assigns values to the goals you know and if this this is working great and you got all the positive expectations that that the behavior is imprinting and then it's not so much uh, uh, you know determined by the rational part of the brains but by the mechanism of striatum and having imprintions uh, once a habit is stored as a chunk of actions, the, the infralimbic uh, infra cortex seems to help the stratum further imprint the habit as a, a semi-permanent uh, brain activity. You know, aided by the dopamine, the infralimbic cortex also seems to control when to allow us to engage in a habit. Shutting down this region can suppress deeply ingrained routines. There are some studies for that and the uh, scientists are trying to find that holy grail. How can how can we help, especially by the very bad habits that are so largely imprinted and um, for instance alcoholics or different drugs, drugs uh, abuse, abuses um but uh none of the none of the strategy has been has been really uh created that that's that's bulletproof out there but let's talk about this further how can we do anything about habits well you know there is uh there are parts that of the brain that we already checked a little bit the ventral medial prefrontal cortex and this this again this is this part is there's an assumption that this part is very much uh, um very much connected to the long-term emotional feelings and 
in printing and uh, uh, like I said there are some there are some assumptions that this part can be turned off and this can help in unlearning maybe some negatively behaviors but uh, you know uh, up to date there is now the, the complete medical strategy and uh, <clears throat> we're also not talking about only medical um, issues but uh, of course uh, was just 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 the cases of very bad habits but also for the general population where uh, we're talking managing managing habits uh, good or bad um, there is there is a dividing line between the habit and and the disease definitely that that the uh, level of uh, distinction is in is in awareness and controllability of the of the process so habits are very closely connected to the values that's why some will be more successful by you than the others you have to understand the mechanism of habit forming but at the same time the primary goal of each of every one of us is to build awareness who you are really and what what is important for you you know my wife recently has asked me like uh, why do i why do i put the uh, food you know coffee cups and anything that that leaves a mark on our child's uh, drawings and uh, that was that was interesting question for me and uh, i just said oh well, i i don't know and then she asked that uh, why don't you put it on a five euro, uh, 500 euro bill, you know, and then I st it started to make me think, like, uh, I guess let's be completely honest uh, to ourselves, honey, that uh, 500 euros is more valuable to me than my child's drawing, even though it sounds horrible. But in this case, you know, it, it kind of makes sense because the, the, those kind of drawings are not, were not very nice. They were just something she was uh, creating on the, on the mass production, you know, like five or ten a day. So I just, I just found out that it was perfectly with my value system that to put the, put the food on it. Uh, or uh, the 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 coffee cup or whatever that was leaving some was leaving some mark so yeah that that value system is uh, relative but so we have to be we have to be completely aware of it uh, because uh, we want to become eventually the managers of our habits and they they shouldn't be just um, controlling us but instead we should take the charge of that navigation of, of our habits because habits really control us whether we want it or not but uh, it's much better to be in charge of it and pick the pick the good ones nurture the good ones and try to through the self-awareness try to um, work uh, in a positive manner with uh, with the bad habits that we that we've collected over the time Okay, this video is getting a little bit long, so uh, hope that this was helpful to uh, looking at the at the certain uh, neurology patterns, the mechanism and functions, how it's how it's working, and in the next video we will talk about uh, self awareness uh, and and some more techniques how to how we can how we can. Uh, uh, manage this process to so so it functions more in our um, in our liking and uh, for that stay tuned and subscribe to to this course and uh, and our channel thank you God bless.